Hi, would you yeah, Benders so after a 10 3 uh, Fairfield win? A rare mid week loss for the Huskies. Uh, off a pretty good weekend for your team. Any emotional letdown? No, I, I don't think we, we took. Uh, I don't think the guys took them lightly. I don't think the coach and we prepared hard yesterday in uh, video and scouting and thought we had a pretty good scouting report. We just we got a bad start and um, made a couple defensive miscues that were very uncharacteristic. But it's not for. I, I didn't think it was a lack of concentration. I didn't like our bats particularly. But, um, I, this is one day where we didn't take the opponent lightly. We know how good they, they are. And they beat us. They just flat out beat us. They outplayed us. They, uh, they hit the cover off the ball. I mean, they really just they took singles when they got them, and they got ahead in some counts and then drove some balls. They did a super job. They were balanced. And we, we struck them out 10 times, and yet we had 19 hits. It's tough to do. So. Uh, they did a super year, job. Year and a half, uh, so you tip your cap and say, uh, they beat us. So when you give up 19 hits as a pitching staff, that's something I'm sure you're going to be thinking about focusing on going forward. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I thought um, it seemed like every mistake we missed, we missed the location, we got punished. You know, they, they, hit, they hit the holes and they, you know, they, they were very unselfish swings, unselfish at bats, they just line drives the opposite field. Two strikes, you know, yeah, finding you know, finding like, holes in the defense. I, I had a couple covered. couple uh, ducks drop in there too, and so the luck was on their side. But they they made their own luck. I mean, they came out of the gates, and it was three nothing quickly. Uh, so uh, you know, I just it's one of those days where you just tip your cap. I get too much respect for the way that they fought in the games to say, well, we didn't take we, we didn't prepare well. The guys weren't uh, weren't ready. They were ready. They just, we just got beat. And Kenny House, you started yeah, last week. You had a good outing. Uh, yeah. Today, you know, he gives up six runs. To go back. Yeah, we're still learning things. So, uh, he's, a, he's a guy that we haven't seen uh, a ton of, but he, he was super last week, and, and he had a bad outing. So he showed that he was human today. And, I expect him to have a good outing next Actually, time like he goes summer. out there. He had a little bad yeah, luck, too, in the first. You know, our center fielder, who's been sensational all year, misread a ball. And, and um, I think that was a little jarring because we're not used to seeing that. And, uh, but he gave up, you know, uh, I think I he gave up his fair share of hits. It was just time to make a move. Uh, 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 and turning to baseball games are also, that's one thing about baseball. You get to kind of wipe the slate clean. Yeah, that's one that if you're a football coach, it drives you nuts because you got to sit for six days in between. But um, you know, it's nice to be able to, to come back here again tomorrow without getting on a bus or play and have an opportunity to, to play, play good baseball. Uh, the guys that we're playing tomorrow have played all the heavyweights. I mean, they played North Carolina, Arizona, Georgia. Um, so they're not going to come in here in awe of the Huskies. They're going to be ready to deliver their best punch. So. We've got to, we don't have long to lick the wounds. We've got to get back at it tomorrow. Should be interesting. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Mike. All right, that's Jim Penders.